Hi, fifth graders. Let's keep learning some new stuff today, shall we? Look at page 13 in your method book. Pause the video and find page 13. All right, so yesterday we talked about dynamics and we reviewed those. Now we're gonna work on pickup notes. So look at songs 214 and 215. But first, look at the blue box above 214. Let's read that together. The blue box above 214. Pickup notes. Pickup notes lead into the first full measure of a phrase. When pickup notes are used to begin a piece, their combined rhythmic value is often subtracted from the last measure. Okay, let me say that a little more clearly because this explanation is a little hard to follow. If you guys know, all of our music right now should have four beats in a measure, correct? Right? Every song you've played, every song in the method book, every band song we've played, with the exception of Waltzing Waves from the Scale Preps, okay? Everything else that we've been playing has four beats in a measure, all right? So if you look at A Tisket, A Tasket, you look at that very first measure of A Tisket, A Tasket, there's only one beat there, all right? Whenever you have a song where the measure, the first measure starts uh, with less than four beats when you're in 4-4 four, four time, those are pickup notes, okay? The song is not starting on beat one. You can see on A Tisket, A Tasket, what beat is that song starting on? You see it right there, starting on beat four. All right, this is a pickup note. Whenever you don't start on beat one, you're playing with pickup notes. So most songs start like this. You know, I count it off, we go one, two, three, four. Or however the song goes, there's always four beats of count off. One, two, three, four. And so on. Well, this song has a pickup note. The song doesn't start on beat one, this starts on beat four. So Tisket to Tasket goes like this. One, two, three. And so on. All right. Let's just try to play that much in a Tisket to Tasket. We're just going to play to the second half note. All right. So I'm going to use my metronome. You're going to get three beats a count off because then the song starts on beat four. So it'll go tick, 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 play, and I'll do it with you, all right? Here we go, a tisket, to task it, very beginning, stop on the second half note. Here we go, three clicks. See how that feels? It's kind of a little different. Do that again, just three clicks, ready? One, two. So if you want to pause the video here and work on the rest of the song, that would be great. Tisket to task. I really just want you to understand how the pickup note works, all right? Now, one thing I want to point out as we're back here together, you'll notice the very ending of a tisket to task it. Look at the last measure. Well, there's only three beats in the last measure of a tisket to task it. Well, where's the fourth beat? The fourth beat's at the beginning. See that? All right, so the very, the pickup note there if you add that pickup note to the last measure, there you get your four beats, all right? So they don't always do that in music, but sometimes if there's a pickup note in the beginning, they'll subtract that beat from the last measure, but they don't always do that. So let's look at Oh Susanna, all right? Look at 215, and look at the A part, the melody, 215A. Now, look at the number there. What beat does Oh Susanna start on? Well, it starts on beat three, all right? Beat three and beat four, the only two beats there. Those are pickup notes. Okay, we're not starting on beat one. So whenever we don't start on beat one, we're starting with pickup notes. So Oh Susanna starts on beat three. So you only get two clicks and then you start the song. It's pretty quick. I'm just gonna play the first three notes of Oh Susanna. All right, so listen to me do this. It goes pretty quick. It goes. How that worked? Okay, just two clicks and you're in. Listen again. Oh, Susanna, two clicks, listen. Okay, now we're gonna play through the first half of Oh, Susanna. So if you wanna pause the video and write in some note names or practice some fingerings or review it up until the quarter rest, go ahead and do that now. 
All right, so we're going to play O Susanna, and we're going to stop at the quarter rest. We're just going to do the first half of the song. Remember, the song starts on beat three. Okay, it's got a pickup note here. It doesn't start on beat one. It starts on beat three. So when you get two clicks, you got to start coming in there. So have your instrument up and ready. Everybody set do. And here we go. O Susanna, two clicks, and you're in. stop there at the quarter rest. The rest of the song is, is very similar. It's almost a repeat of the first half. So if you learn the first half, you can learn the whole song. But again, on O Susanna, look at the very ending of O Susanna. Look at that last measure. How many beats are there in the last measure? Oh, there's only two. Okay, two beats in the last measure. That's because this song starts on beat three, okay, with a two-beat pickup. So you add the first two beats of the song there, beats three and four, and you look at the very ending, well, there's beats one and two. Well, there's your four beats that are supposed to be in the measure. Again, they don't always subtract the pickup notes from the last measure, but sometimes they do. So why don't you review this concept, watch the video again if you need to, practice these songs, a Tisket, a Tasket, 214, and O Susanna, 215, the A part, to help you learn about pickup notes and any songs that don't start on beat one. Not all songs start on beat one. Most of them do. But sometimes songs will start on beats other than one, and those are called pickup notes.